I am a fan of making mnemonics. Mnemonics not only make your life easy, but also it makes your life fun. Like I'll be making some really weird, stupid, crazy mnemonics, and making them will also be fun. And also thinking about them in the future will also be a nice feeling. And I absolutely swear by mnemonics. So in this video, we'll be seeing about how I make mnemonics. I hope this video gives you some ideas also about the potential of mnemonics and some crazy ways by which you can make your mnemonics. I am Rohit PBR, a second year medical student at Madhuri Medical College. In this channel, we will be looking at various ways by which we can improve our academics by various study techniques. So, if this all sounds like your cup of tea, then do subscribe. I usually make my own mnemonics. My mnemonics will be in my own style. So, I would definitely recommend making your own mnemonics. There are tons and tons of mnemonics already available in the internet. Just search for anything and you're going to get the mnemonic. However, making your own mnemonics simply feels like it is something close to your heart. So this is a nice feeling, right? And I would classify mnemonics as two things. Text mnemonics and image mnemonics. So we can start a discussion with this example. Here I am supposed to be studying about in which plasmodium parasite are the RBCs enlarged. And here simply the answer is Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale. But however, to remember this properly, it says RBC is enlarged. So we can assume that it is something about overgrowth. So it is growing overgrowth. O, V. Plasmodium vivax, V. Plasmodium ovale, O. So overgrowth. RBC is enlarged. So the mnemonic is overgrowth. So by this, I can remember Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale. And now going to this next mnemonic, shout out to Ranjan sir. He is an amazing faculty at Maro. He teaches pharmacology really well. And he gave this mnemonic. And this is a very good mnemonic. What are the various antibodies that activate classical pathway? And the answer is M and G. And the mnemonic he gave was GM makes classic cars. This classic stands for classical pathway and GM that is obvious. So IgM and G that is immunoglobulin M and G activate classical pathway. So this is also a very good example. And now, this is the visual mnemonic that I have made to remember the hallmarks of cancer. This diagram basically explains all the important hallmarks of cancer. Talking about the complete hallmarks of cancer will be a separate video by itself. So let me just explain how I made this mnemonic. For example, here, this is supposed to be, the one I am marking with yellow is supposed to be a cancer cell. And this thing is throwing out some food. This basically explains that this doesn't eat normal food, rather it eats some new types of food. So this is about the Warburg hypothesis. Basically, the cancer cells will have a very different metabolism. So it doesn't follow the normal metabolism. So killing it is also a bit difficult. This halo around this cancer cell is pretty obvious. It is immortal. And coming to this, it is capable of increasing its population by a humongous number. So this will explain that. This will this will explain that the negative inhibitory signals won't be disturbing the cell at all. So even if the body doesn't want these cells to grow and gives out signals that try to prevent the growth of the cells they do not act on the cell so this is pointless so this is how i make my mnemonics however please note that constantly reviewing your mnemonics is the only way to actually use mnemonics because uh, there are times when i haven't been really revising my mnemonics and during the exam i know the mnemonic but i don't know which topic i have studied the particular mnemonic for so there is no point right so you have to constantly remember why you study the mnemonic and there is this amazing quote that i would like to share now knowledge without execution is useless most of us run around gathering tons and tons of knowledge without actually applying them we assume that we are knowledgeable because we have a lot of knowledge but then we end up not using them if we don't use them there is no point in even having the knowledge right the only single way by which you can remember mnemonics is by using the efficient study techniques that is active recall space repetition period hence i use space repetition algorithm like anki for remembering my mnemonics anki is a very useful app uh, it is an app that combines the most efficient study techniques that is active recall and space repetition so make sure you check it out and in this video i have given a brief introduction to anki so make sure you check it out and as always thank you for watching see you soon